hello friends in last lecture we have already learned the biogenesis in that biogenesis we have learned alkali derived from tyrosine alkali derived from tryptophan alkali derived from cinnamic acid and so on okay so almost uh, we have covered 10 lectures also via zoom meeting we have already revised whatever we have learned till date okay and today we will uh, start to learn about the synthesis or biosynthesis of the chalcone so i will write down biosynthesis of chalcone okay this chalcone is very important compound and uh, this you can occur in the natural places okay it will found in most of the plant tissues right and this is this chalcone is precursor of uh, the again another important compound which is flavonoids okay so first uh, first of all we will start to learn about the chalcone so our starting material for chalcone is as usual hope you will uh, recognize the name of this compound is i will write down so you can see this is again the aromatic amino acid right and which amino acid is there i i will not tell yes yes okay using this we have to carry out one reaction or another way i will say this is phenyl alanine uh, alanine ammonialase ammonia lase is is means pal okay then you will get some intermediate on that intermediate you have to add c4h what is mean by c4h here so c4h is again the cinnamate cinnamate 4 hydroxylase cinnamate 4 hydroxylase okay and uh, again you will get some intermediate and from that you have to add this 4 cl and 4 cl is the 4 cumari royal coenzyme ligase this is the long form of 4 cl this is the long form of c4h and hope you remember while preparation of uh, some lignin or stilbene type of compounds or cumarin based compound we have already learned these three steps okay so after phenylalanine then cinnamate we have prepared the cinnamic acid and from that cinnamic acid one of the cumaril type of compound and then the after this you will get the compound i will draw the structure this is co s c o a okay this is the derivative of 4 cumaril coa okay and hope you remember here is the cinnamic acid and other intermediates was there okay and uh, from this we have already prepared some lignins synthesis then still beans or cumarin okay so we can prepare from this 
and using this the same intermediate today we have to prepare the chalukwa and for that we have to use the chs so chs is the enzyme these are the enzymes okay and this enzyme the name of this chs is chalcon chalcon synthase okay here so uh, escep is there then you have to say this is enzyme okay in many of the cases you will find this ase see this ase is there this ase is there this ligase is there ase and synthesis okay so these are the active enzymes so please keep in mind and uh, then this four cumaryl coe and plus three malonyl coe three malonyl coe means coenzyme okay so three molecule of this malonyl coenzyme and this you will get the intermediate or famous compound called as the chalcone okay i will draw the total structure this is alpha beta and saturation is the specific property of the chalcone type of compounds okay so hope you understand this is the initial compound this is cumaryl type of intermediate and from that you get this co and this malonyl coenzyme from this malonyl coenzyme you will get this chalcone okay so this is the key intermediate or this is the one of the important compound of biogenesis uh, now after the biosynthesis of this chalcone type of compound we can prepare so many compounds okay um, from this chalcone we will prepare one compound is aron aron i will draw the structure of aron this is aron this is arrow okay this type of uh, ring will be there okay better way uh, will give the nomenclature of this ring this is a ring this is b ring this is uh, or this is a b or this is c this is aron type of compound then also from the chalcone we can prepare dehydrochalcone dehydrochalcone is again very easy to understand dehydrochalcone this will be as such then this co rather than this double bond there will be two hydrogen and this is oh so this is a ring this is b ring and the name of this compound is dehydro chalcone okay so from this chalcone we have prepared right now two 
compounds or we can say the alkaloids. Another alkaloid we can prepare from chalcon is dibenzoyl methane dibenzoyl methane so directly i would like to draw the structure so this ring will be intact then there will be increase of this double bond okay rather than this double bond there will be carbonyl compound and another remaining moiety will be as such ok and the name of this compound is dibenzoyl methane dibenzoyl methane then from this compound we can prepare retro chalcon retro chalcon so again this moiety will be like this then double bond and as such so double bond okay so retro chalcon means oppositely this type of compound which is retro chalcon ok so retro synthesis you know so from this compound again reversibly we can prepare this compound ok otherwise we will write down the structure for that also now this B ring will transport here so this OH this then this double bond then this and 3 OH having 3 double bond this is A ring so name is retro chalco ok so hope you understand up to this now we can continue with the chalcone to flavonoid from chalcone we can easily prepare the flavonoid type of compound ok so i will write down the chalcone first this 3 OH then this double bond uh, carbonyl compound this double bond then another this ring and having para position hydroxy compound so this is the chalcone from the chalcone using this chi chi means again chalcone flavanone synthesize synthesize Okay, so this enzyme we have to use to prepare the flavanone. So flavanone, uh, I can draw it here. Okay, this single bond, then this double bond and means actually this is the ring formation ok you can see there is a ring formation of one compound 
so this is airing this is searing and this is bearing and called as flavanone okay so again this is the very important intermediate or another type of alkaloids actually you know the, this is the flav flavanone but this is the uh, part of flavanoids so i i will write down something about flavonoid okay and in this flavonoid this is the basic structure okay and so many derivatives are there okay so this double bond so there are three ring a b c how many carbons are there 15 carbon okay then if if we have make the two part this side or this side there will be two bands you will get from uv means via uv region you will get here band 1 having range is 300 to 400 nanometer means we if we have characterized this flavonoid type of moiety this benzene ring having another unsaturation or conjugated unsaturation you will give the 300 to 400 nanometer type of uh, one bond and here in this side you will get band 2 having the range which is 240 to 285 nanometer okay so based on this uv spectroscopy you can easily recognize whether this is flavonoid moiety or not why this flavonoid is important because it found in most of the it found in most of the plant tissues and what to uh, what is the function so it help to provide it help to provide a range of color that color color to flowers actually flowers that attract pollination okay so this is the function of the flavonoid is understand the function okay so the how to synthesize this uh, flavon derivatives there are so many derivatives from the flavonone so we will see in the next lecture okay thank you